Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard uh, Disneyland Paris or well, Walton Studios Park had its you know, anniversary, and boy oh boy, a lot was announced on regarding to updates to the whole resort from Disneyland Park to Walt Disney Studios Park to a new name change for the park. It could be a little bit quite controversial, plus new concept art for new entrances and a lot more. So let's get into it right now. You know, let's start off with the name change. Yes, Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris is going to be renamed Disney Adventure World. Disney Adventure World is a very generic name, and I think there could be a lot. It could be a, done a lot better, like Disney, Disney Cinemagic World. Disney's Cinemagic Park, and but yeah, we have Disney Adventure World, and a lot of people have been noticing that the logo is reminiscent of the Disney DVD logos from back in the day. Disney Adventure World really kind of mixes Walt Disney World and Disney California Adventure <laughs> together, uh, and the logo is kind of uninspired as well. But this is the brand new name for the park, and it makes more sense, at least the name wise, because Walt Disney Studios Park with all these IPs coming with Frozen and maybe Lion King and Avatar and with Avengers. These are really, all really adventures. And yeah, so the name makes sense. I just wish it could have been implemented a little bit better, with a better logo and just a better uh, name with the word adventure in it. So what's coming to Disney's Adventure World, you say? Well, a new entrance for one. New entrances uh, for this area. This, they keep, they're retaining the same studio entrance that they had before, but they're kind of reinvigorating as you walk through a studio into your own, movie studio into your own adventure. And they say, new chapter, new park entrance, and they show this beautiful nighttime rendering, as you can see here. Um, the spotlights and all the lights on the trees. It looks really nice to be. The Parks box states that in spring 2025, we'll be transported into a vibrant contemporary open-air movie studio, world premiere, world premiere, and... Uh, welcome to a glamorous movie premiere in the heart of Hollywood. The current soundstage decor will be placed with all new pieces paying homage to historic movie theater. Here's some beautiful images at night of the world premiere plaza here. Um, I like this. The second particular image, uh, the one to the right, looks a little bit, reminds me of the Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway marquee that we have at Disneyland, and that one looks absolutely gorgeous. So I believe that they pull, can pull that off just like they did out here. Uh, that would look really impressive, especially at nighttime. This plaza will be um, an homage to the Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar Animation Studios in a brand new Art Deco-inspired theater district for you to your fun adventures throughout the rest of them. And of course, Frozen will be opening next year as well. The current Arendelle looks fantastic. Here's the, uh, the rendering, which looks beautiful. And then you have the current construction update around the beautiful lake. You can see a center stage, centerpiece show stage being built in front of that lake there, as well as you know, another maybe dining location, and then the world of Frozen in the background, which should be opening up next year. This lagoon area is called Adventure Bay, which reminds me of Paw Patrol, but er, uh, yeah, but um, again, I feel like a better name could be, you know, Adventure Lagoon, a Cinemagic Lagoon, some, I just feel like these names are a little bit uninspired, but Adventure Bay it is, and they'll be how this Bay will be home to brand new entertainment. This hat will feature a unique entertainment stage with 360 degree viewing area, complete with fountains, music lights, and special effects will be fitted with related technologies of water based entertainment. So expect, you know, maybe an upgraded version of World of Color here. And Disney has said a new pathway uh, going towards the lake will be called Adventure Way, of course. Uh, again, these names are hilarious, but yes, Adventure Way and Long Adventure Way will be an all new family attraction, Tangled, will be based on. It'll be called Ray, Ray Pond's Tangled Spin. This will just be uh, a spinning flat, spinning flat ride in the vein of Mater's. And it'll be on the boats, um, spinning around lanterns, which will be very, looks very beautiful. Look at that beautiful concept right there. The next one is a restaurant um, called the Regal View Restaurant and Lounge. And there'll be a, that will be a table or service restaurant that will obviously use spectacular views. Adventure Bay, along with a chance to meet some of your favorite Disney princesses. So that was that concrete building we saw under construction at the bottom of that last construction. And lastly, some brand new entertainment and some entertainment leaving at Disneyland Paris. The Main Street Electrical Sky Parade will be ending on Labor Day weekend. That fantastic show is so, so good. Hopefully we'll make, be making a return uh, later on next year, but right now we'll be ending this uh, Labor Day weekend. But some New activations will be happening at Avengers Campus. At Avengers Campus, a new nighttime activation will come to life by the end of 2024. 
taking place of, over on the World's Engineering Brigade, building through spring 2025. The immersive experience will combine projections, music, and special effects alongside an all-new storyline featuring some favorite a favorite new to Disneyland pair of superheroes. Hopefully, whatever show this is can come to our um uh our no Avengers campus as well because uh can need some more entertainment need some more entertainment over there while we fix wait for that Avengers E ticket. And beginning May twenty fifth on Memorial Day weekend, Alice and the Queen of Hearts Back to Wonder my Back to Wonderland will debut at Walt Disney Studios Park. This fall new show inspired by a Disney animation film. Alice in Wonderland will feature high-flying acrobats pushing limbs in a supercharged pop and rock showdown. Two possible endings that will be decided by you guys, the audience. The Disney Village, their version of Disney Springs and Downtown Disney, is getting to the fun as well. Disney Village is continuing its transformation as the current shops are being gradually designed to pave the way for new experiences, just like here at Downtown Disney. The makeover includes the introduction of a new Disney lifestyle stop, Disney lifestyle shop, and a Disney home store by the end of the year. Plus. The current Disney store will also be reimagined later on, which maybe, I don't know if it looks, what it looks like now, but I assume it will look like the World of Disney store we have at Disney Spring or Disney, yeah, Disney Springs and Downtown Disney here in North America. But they are also con- excited to confirm the refurbish- refurbishment of the Lego store, including new photo opportunities, awe-inspiring builds, and interactive PlayStations, which should be, PlayStations, which should be fantastic. Lastly, the Disneyland Hotel has a new addition as well. Disneyland also opened the stores with a regal makeover. At the Disney David, David Crockett Ranch bungalows is receiving a new look as well. The project will start later on this year and elevate the hotel's theming, theming with nods to the junior wood, woodchucks together with Donald Duck and his friends. The new experience is a never before seen scale expansion at Disneyland Paris is just one of many ways to ex- that Disney experiences turbocharging, they love that word, growth around the world. And they're going to tell us even more at the D23 Expo. So that's pretty exciting. Hopefully, we'll get. Uh, maybe confirmation of that third land coming to the uh, Arendelle area that is replacing the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Rumors have it Avatar and Lion King will be the other two lands surrounding the lake. So that'll be cool to get confirmations of those in just a few minutes. And if you like more Disney content, stay tuned because and subscribe to the channel because I'll be at Disneyland Resort in two weeks when it's not raining, hopefully. Um, and we'll be doing some updates there. Disneyland Forward is expected to be approved on Tuesday, April 16th. Um, that's two days from this recording, so that'll be very exciting. So stay tuned for all those big updates because more Disney content will be making its way onto theme park. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe. But again, if you want to contribute to the channel a little bit more, press that join button and become a YouTube member for exclusive perks, uh, exclusive rumor podcasts, and live streams and more. You can also contribute by becoming a Patreon member at patreon.com slash club722 or clicking the Patreon logo at the end on the end screen at the end of this video and check out some permanent information and also exclusive news and rumor stories over there as well. Despite the name change, I'm excited that Walt Disney Studios Park is getting the much needed help it needs and I can't wait for those other lands coming around the lake and hopefully they can start construction soon and get open before 2028. Other than that, I hope you guys have a magical day.